Hey guys, Jared Beckwith here. I'm a registered EEG technologist, and in today's video, we're gonna look at a EEG record of a 75-year-old woman who hasn't had any recent seizures. She's currently on Depakote for her seizures, and I guess she's getting essentially a checkup EEG, and she's been having trouble sleeping lately, but luckily, guys, in this EEG, we have some good news. She was able to fall asleep and we were able to see not only vertex waves in stage one and two sleep, we we're also able to see sleep spindles in stage two sleep. So without further ado, let's get into the record. So the EEG was put on, it starts out here and the patient's eyes were closed here and they opened them right here. You can tell by this weird movement here in the frontal channels, FP1 and FP2, the eyes open, and it looks like back here when they were closed, it's probably about nine waves per second, and when they open, the background attenuates, it essentially goes away. You no longer see that nine waves per second, and when they go back and do some weird stuff with their eyes here, and then essentially close their eyes right here, the nine waves per second background reappears. So that is what you would call a reactive background. That is a good thing. Now, how many waves per second is the background? Well, if you count it, you'll end up seeing nine waves per second on both the left and the right side and the back of the head, O1 and O2, both of those, that's where you're gonna wanna count the posterior dominant rhythm or the PDR. And in this patient, we're gonna get about nine waves per second. So this is while they are awake. So everything's looking good. We tested the reactivity of the background, very normal EEG, and I am very satisfied with this record so far. Here's a little bit of muscle contamination there. And we scroll on. And so the patient right now, they're laying down eyes closed, relaxed. I can only imagine since I don't have the video, but we don't see very much muscle artifact. It's essentially a very clean record. You can tell the patient is pretty relaxed. And now we will start to see some vertex waves right here. So vertex waves are a sign of stage one sleep. They are a normal thing and they're gonna happen in the CZ area. What does it look like? It essentially looks like at CZ, they're gonna be kissing the waves. It's gonna be a little sharp wave and they're gonna be kissing at CZ. Right there, little vertex waves, and that's a sign of stage one sleep. So they're probably starting to get sleepy here and the background is kind of like waxing and waning, it's kind of going away and you're starting to see these vertex waves appear more often. More vertex waves as we scroll on. Hopefully we will get to, oh, we got some vertex waves and it looks like some sleep spindles as well. So you got vertex wave and then these this faster activity right here is the sleep spindles and that's going to be usually around beta range so maybe 13 waves per second so we're starting to see the first transition into stage two sleep how do you know you're in stage two sleep well sleep spindles guys that is essentially the hallmark and you can also see these vertex waves and there's also a thing called K complexes, but in this patient, I don't see any of those particularly. This right here is probably the patient's laying on their left side, probably like movement. That's not like actual brain activity. And we scroll on. They're definitely in, you know, a little drowsy, sleepy, sleepy state right now. And as we scroll on, we continue to see good sleep structure in this normal EEG. If we go a little faster, we start to see the sleep spindles come out even more. And definitely stage two sleep right now. Beautiful EEG. I made good 
good little annotations for you guys. So hopefully that'll help as well, along with the commentary. As we scroll on, we got a little bit of an arousal right here. You can tell from the muscle artifact and a little bit of movement of the eyes. Definitely some sort of an arousal here. And we go back to being eyes closed, relaxed. As we scroll through some of the, the nine waves per second awake background may be coming back because they're a little bit more awake, they're more aroused. But, you know, it's waxing and waning, so they're definitely still a very sleepy person. Well, it was a good thing they were able to get at least a little bit of stage two sleep, a little light sleep and a little nap for them, because in the history it said they were having trouble sleeping. So we can confirm, yeah, they did get a little bit of sleep. Hopefully they can get more rest. And... If you want to look and tell your sleep structures on the trends tab, you can see, well, let's first, let's find the background. The background we said was nine, here's 10. So you're going to see the stripe right at 10 or about nine. So that is your posterior dominant rhythm right here. And all of these four different things, these panels are going to be the same because it's symmetric. So that is your background. Well, why did it kind of disappear here? Well, as we looked at before, the patient's eyes were open and when they closed them again, the nice red stripe at 10 or nine waves per second appears. And as they drift off to sleep, we can see a little bit higher than 10, more at like 13, you can see the sleep spindles. It's definitely higher than down here at nine where you had the awake background start to see the sleep spindles right here, a little bit higher. So if we click here, it'll take us to sleep spindles. Should be around here somewhere. Yep, perfect, beautiful. And that was pretty much it for this EEG. I'm happy this patient got some sleep. Hit the like button if you like this video, subscribe for more, and I'll see you all on the next one.